Good morning, dear children. Welcome you again to the Google Classroom of Sri Gogulam Public School, Guruvayu. Let's recall what all things we have discussed in previous class. In the previous class, we were discussing about increasing and reducing friction. And with the help of some examples, we have learned that increasing and reducing friction. Today, we will be discussing about rolling friction. Now what is rolling friction? When one body rolls over another body, that is known as rolling friction. Let us understand it better with the help of some examples. Now assume that you are travelling to another city and you are carrying a luggage weighing around 25 kg. If you are unable to carry the bag, the only option you have is to drag it on the floor. But you will still require some force there. What if you have luggage, wheels under it? Yes, it will be easier for you. When one body rolls over the surface of another body, the resistance to its motion is called rolling friction. Rolling reduces friction. It is always easier to roll than to slide a body over another. That is the reason it is convenient to pull luggage fitted with rollers. Can you now understand why the wheel is said to be one of the greatest inventions of mankind? Now remember that the rolling friction is smaller than the sliding friction. You know sliding is replaced in most machines by rolling by the use of ball bearings. Bearings reduce friction by providing smooth metal balls or rollers. And a smooth inner and outer metal surface for the ball to roll against. These balls or rollers bear the load, allowing the device to spin smoothly. Ball bearings are the most common type of bearings and are found in everyday object such as skateboards, bicycle, uh, the axles of ceiling fan. So this type of ball bearing reduces friction. So till now we were talking about friction exerts only on solid object. But fluid also exerts friction. Now what is fluid? Which means flowing. When we say fluid, we talk about liquids and gases. So force of friction exerted by fluid on the object moving through them are called fluid friction. Now many a times you see objects move through fluids. For example, aeroplane. So aeroplane is flying through the sky. It is moving through air. Similarly, bird is flying in the sky. So it is also moving through fluid. The ship is moving through water. So water is again a fluid. So whenever an object moving through a fluid, that fluid offers some resistance to its motion and anything that opposes motion is friction. So that friction which is known as fluid friction. This fluid friction is also known as drag. Now let us see what are the factors affecting fluid friction. Now what is the first factor? Nature of the fluid. Now liquids are denser than gases. The molecules present in liquid are more closer than gases. For example, if you throw a ball from point X to point Y in air and an identical ball from the same point in water, the ball thrown in air will reach the point Y earlier. Why? 
because air is less denser than water. Now what is the second factor? Speed of the moving object. A slow moving object in water encounter less resistance or drag. The faster an object moves, the more drag force is applied on moving body in water and air as well. Now what is the next factor? Shape of the object. Objects are given special shapes. Now where do you think scientists get hints for these special shapes? Yes, of course, from nature. Birds and fishes have to move about in fluids all the time. Their bodies must have evolved to shapes which would make them lose less energy in overcoming friction. You might have read about these shapes in class 6th. In fact, all vehicles are designed to have shapes which reduce fluid friction. So this was all about fluid friction. So today what we have discussed? We have discussed about rolling friction and fluid friction. So here our chapter is over. In the next class we will be discussing about text exercise. I have atta attached the URL video and notes to the classroom all of you. Copy the notes in your notebook and there will be a small test paper as you know. So all should attend the test paper and post it. Okay, take care. Bye.